Hello everyone, I'm Owen from Research is Broken and today I'm going to be building the Crypt Ghost. <laughs> so, Crypt Ghost can be found when you buy the Warcry Warband or uh, any uh, the start collecting Crypt Ghost from AOS. But before we begin, a little bit of disclaimer, I'm new to this one in the hobby. So don't think of me as an expert on this field. I mean, I started a year ago and uh, due to the quarantine, next thing I know, I've already built around 30, I think, uh, models. So this will be my third time in making the ghouls. So, there are two ways that you can see the sprue, uh, that you'll get the spruce, depending on how you, uh, on the box that you bought it from. So in, War in Warcry, um, you'll get two spruce, or in AOS, start collecting, you'll get one whole sprue, but you don't have to worry because all of the... Um, the location of the parts of the ghouls uh, stays the same. Uh, stays the same. So when you get the crypt ghoul sprue, uh, you not only get to form nine crypt ghouls, but also the crypt gas, their leader. Uh, for me, I prefer to start making the crypt gas because his parts are easier to uh, locate. And uh, I prefer to form him first, generally. <laughs> uh, wait. So the Crypt Gas has many variation forms, not, uh, not only one, but three. So here, this is the, the part of the Crypt Gas. Wait. The Crypt Gas is here, you can find it here. So this is one of its possible head, or this one. His feet, body, one of his arms, and then three possible arms that you want him to wield. Now, he also has a banner, I think, it's due to their dilution uh, a skull that he that is attached at the back of the crypt gas so that's one thing to look at now when you're trying to form the crypt gas um, look at this one so it might look like a beard in fact in my so this is the first Crypt Gas I made, I painted it with a beard, second Crypt Gas, but the thing is, after looking at uh, references, it's actually uh, meat from bone that it's chewing, so when you for uh, decide to pick this head, the center one, then you should pick this uh, arm because it will connect to the bone here. Wait, I'll show you. See, it will connect to that bone. Uh, of course, I painted it as a beard, but it's it can actually look. You know what? Uh, they won't notice. Other players won't notice. But the designers intended it to be meat that the uh, crypt gas is chewing on. So there, uh, you have two options. It could be this head or this one. Then. Uh, tools that you will use in assembling uh, here 
simple cutter no need for it to be GW then super glue actually you can also use other uh, sticking materials like uh, plastic cement and uh, paint thinner I, I've heard but I'm gonna stick with super glue because I'm used to it by now so um, okay let's start cutting off the parts that the quick gas needs I'm gonna start with oh wait I start with the body first. It's easier. Fine. So. Hmm. There. That's the body. And then this is where you put the skull. Head. Hands. And the leg here. So I'm gonna get the leg next. You don't really need to cut exactly here for safety's sake. Some of the piece here. Yeah. But it's easier for you to cut any of the out jutting out parts. Yeah. Uh, I try to assemble uh, try to picture out how it would look body I try to use this to remove some parts that That's what the cutting board is for. <laughs> you don't want to damage, I mean, if you don't want to damage your table. Okay, so it's going to look like this. It's going to be a symbol like that. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Mm, okay. Maybe I need to cut off a few pieces here. When you're cutting off this part, right, you should be careful not to cut too much because there is a mm, angle here and you might end up cutting more and you leave a space between the body and the uh, ass crack the ass the, the leg area of the ghoul but honestly the other players won't notice it because you know you're just making a ghoul it's not exactly the centerpiece model okay you know what this is good enough for me I know other people who are OCD would really want to cut it that deep but you know what these are ghouls i'm not gonna think too much about perfection yes that i can get this ready for painting be good enough for me so there while oh no 
Ah, the glue. Alright, so body has already blended. Now, some people would like to cut out the head, but for me, I prefer to get the other parts first and then assemble the head because sometimes. Uh, if you put the head first, you don't. You may not realize that it's to. Uh, it's angled wrongly, and once you put the other parts, it looks like the. Uh, it looks like the head has been snapped by a ninja. Uh, that's what I discovered when I made this. I assembled the head first. And the the head seems to be snapped so this time around uh, I wanna I still want to correct my mistake so I'm gonna use this head instead of this one but first I'm gonna get the other parts so I'm gonna get this accessory skull accessory for our crypt vest I'm just gonna clean it a bit area so the first thing I do is I get a glue let's glue it I know I should be using tweezers, but you know what? I uh, can't find it right now. <laughs> no mistakes, I know. Designs, I tried to use gadgets instead of hand. Uh, it's really hard, you know? Something about tactile touching. Makes it easier to, uh, but of course there's a disadvantage. Mm. All right, I think it's bonded. Uh, it's okay if the head isn't so perfect. It's a corpse, after all. So, leg, body, skull, check. Then, I am going to get this hand, the middle, and this arm. I'm gonna get this one first, this one.
So yeah, maybe have it look like this. So. Big mistake. <laughs> Sometimes the glue takes a while to bond. I know there's a baking soda technique, and I promise I'll be using it next time. <laughs> you know what? I keep saying I'll use it next time. Uh, uh, I'm a bit lazy. Get the middle hand, the right hand. This one. Actually, the other variation is if you pick this head, you can use either this one or the one with the club. But I want to try to correct this one so I'm gonna pick this hand here and try to make my third quickness actually eat human flesh I want to make sure that the skull, oh no, the bone connects to the hands. I'm gonna take off. I would really suggest, you know, normally I would suggest that you only cut out one piece, then uh, paste them and not uh, let the other parts lay around because you might forget which part goes to where this time around since it's only one part that I slaying around it should be easy for me to remember
Okay. Move it here. This one and one arm attached to the body. Yeah, should be enough glue. We taking some oh my goodness cinematics just to attach an arm <laughs> all right I let it dry for a bit before I mess with it okay. oh, compelling <laughs> show everyone all right all that's left is the crit ghast head Maybe I should have put glue on the bone part. The bone part. All that needs to happen is for the glue to touch. All right, so this is the crypt gas. Now, wait, there's more. So when you only play Warcry, the only base you need is this 25 centimeter base to attach it. But if you play AOS, Age of Sigmar, you have a choice. If you want your Crypt Gas to be part of a Crypt Ghoul unit, then yes. You attach this to a 25cm base. But if you want him to be a hero by itself, then you need to attach the Crypt Gas on, the, on a 35cm base. Sure, you can find a way to make it transition from different bases or magnets or what have you you're creative people so I'm sure you can find a way to make that happen now there um, when you make other ghouls the rest of the other ghouls you apply the same reason I, I would suggest to attach the head last so that you can orient the head from the rest of the body then um, one thing you should know is that 
there are extra arms and heads for you to choose from there are also bones that you can accessorize your ghouls with or you can use this for the base so add an extra something for your base uh, one thing you should also be warned is uh, for ghouls with like this took me a while to figure it out because unpainted it looks like their tongues are their tongues are hanging out but it's actually meat just for you to envision when you are painting it so i would also suggest this is not a rule just a suggestion now it doesn't matter if you're a new player but if especially if you're a war, war cry player um, to make sure that since there are many um, variations of the arms I would suggest that at least one arm would be holding uh, something like skeleton some of the arms will have weapons I would suggest that there will be a variation and they're not just you know outstretching their hands because it's easier for you to determine which ghoul is which when you're fighting your enemy because they look different distinct so yeah that's how to assemble the crypt guys and the crypt ghouls uh, tell me what you think of the video by typing down in the comments uh, press like button if you like this uh, video and sub subscribe and click the notification that's it bye guys